Greetings and welcome back to the channel. I'm betting you're wondering where on earth I've been. I have posted a few ride videos. You guys have seen a couple of rides. I've done a ride on the W and, and OD Trail, the Washington and Old Dominion Trail up near um, the capital of the US, near Washington DC area. Uh, I also posted a ride where I rode the Velomobile out on the Virginia Capitol Trail and that was the video that I let other people ride the Velomobile. I think that that might not happen anymore. So in this series, I'm going to be showing you the Archer D1X system. It is an electronic shifter and I have um, I've broken up all of the video that I've taken so far into several different videos. So this is video one. Wow, it's been a while, it seems like, uh, since I've actually been out in the Velo. I've been riding the trikes, and I've been doing a lot of the farm stuff. You can find that on my other channel, Flaming Eyeball Farm. So I've been doing a lot of activity concerning the farm, taking care of stuff and whatnot. But something happened today that's never happened to me before. I got in a box. It says it's got a battery in it. And... I know what it is and I was kind of excited when I went out to the mailbox and I saw it I was like they actually sent it I was kind of surprised this has never happened to me before so I have been asked to test out a product and put the video up on the YouTube channel so that's what I plan to do but first I'm gonna do the unboxing so it's eventually gonna go into the velo I will put it in here it is an electronic shifter and so I'm gonna pop inside and open it up and then I'll read the instructions and I'll see all the stuff that I've got to do for it and we will go from there got the referral from a friend of mine named Bob you guys have seen him in some of my other videos we rode at the cap the cap trail and I've been with him at the six pillar century and the seagull century and several other rides I will be seeing him again this coming October at the uh, Between the Waters ride, which is on the Eastern Shore of Virginia. And so we're gonna be going and doing that one together. And there's gonna be probably four or five Elmobiles there because the Seagull Century and the Six Pillars and several other rides have been canceled this year. So we're gonna be out there. But Bob recommended to the company who does these shifters and it's um, Archer Components. And he recommended to them that uh, they send me one so I can do a review on my channel. And so, you know, when I first got the email, I, I, to be honest, I was skeptical. I was like, all right, what's the catch? What is it that, what is it that I need to do or anything like that? And after a couple of emails back and forth, I realized, okay, this is a real deal. I double checked with Bob to make sure that it was the real deal. And he said, yep, I was the guy who recommended you. So it's, it's legit. Out in the shop with the Velo again, and this time I've got it up on the table, and I'm going to show you how to install the D1X on a Velomobile. This is not a typical bike install. If you recall, the D1X comes with a cable that's about eight inches long or so to go on a regular bike. So it comes with a new shifter cable that's about eight inches long. This isn't even a normal shifter cable. So perhaps if they would, supply, would have supplied a normal shifter cable, then I wouldn't have had to buy one. But I had to buy one um, because this is a different kind of situation than what they're planning for. So it's an electronic shifter, but it's not like the ETAP or anything like that. It doesn't use servos. It uses a cable to actually pull and make the shifter adjustments. So I had to get a longer cable 
and I got a shifter cable in and so I'll be using my longer cable. I won't be using the one supplied in the kit. And I'll be mounting it on the Velmobile. So what I wanted to talk about before I got started with any of that was how am I going to do this? Like I said, you could go to the Archer Components website and see how they install it on mountain bikes and basically it just bolts onto the rear frame, um, the rear triangle of the frame. And so you can't do that in a Velmobile. So first, inside the Velmobile, this is where the rear wheel is. So there's a cover here and there's another cover here. These are the two chain covers. And so I've got to take those off. Those of you who have a Quest know that this cover comes off right here and then I'll be able to get access to the rear derailleur once I lower the wheel down. I have to disconnect the shock and lower the wheel down and get access to the rear derailleur. And, uh, looks like I got a bunch of scratches. I think that was from that time that I was riding at night and went off the went off the trail because I couldn't see it and went in a ditch but it's all good if it's not getting scratched it's not getting used so the chain covers are just velcroed in so now this one doesn't just come out easily I've actually got to undo the shock because the shock goes through a hole in the cover. So I'll undo the shock and then undo all the Velcro. And I can slide the cover off. So now that I have that off and I have the shock off, this, I'll set this back up. So you can better see how it is in there. So I'll give you a good view of what the setup is. So here's the rear swing arm. And back there, right there, is where the derailleur is. And of course the cassette is back there. If I was going to mount the, the, the D1X, I would have to mount it on the swing arm here. And then it's a real hassle to try and get to it because the swing arm is covered up with the cover and I can't get to it to turn it on and off. So that's why I'm going to have the longer cable. As you can see right now, as you can see here, is the current derailleur cable. So, I'll be leaving that cable in place and then I'll be moving and I'll just tie it up out of the way. Yeah, so tight fit. It's not like I can just take off a body panel and get to it. Now on the new Alpha 7, I think it's the Alpha 7 and the After 7 and all those fun fancy ones. They're actually putting a panel right here now and it, it's no longer screwed. It just velcroed on so a little panel that sits there now. That would be a really nice addition to the Quest but it is what it is and we'll take off this lower panel to get to the derailleur. That gives you a better idea of where the derailleur sits during normal operations. This is where the shock is sitting normally. And so this is how it would sit. And you can see how it's kind of difficult to get to in this position. So I'll undo the shock, which will allow the wheel to come down. Undo the shock, that allows the whole thing to come down. And then I just use the shoe box underneath, underneath the chain tunnel to hold it all up. So this is the wheel all the way down with access to the derailleur. So here's the derailleur and I'll have to uh, see how I can see how I can put in the new cable. So I have about five foot of cable housing here. I'm not going to need that much so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put it in the velo and see about how much I need to get the shifter all the way up into the compartment, into the driver's compartment where I can get to it easily. I can turn it on and off very easily. I'll just mount some dual lock to it and then I'll have it right there and that way I'll know up front in the cockpit where everything is shifting. Just the mechanicals will be in the back, will be running a cable back to it. So I'm going to measure that out and get it cut. All right, so. 
I opened up this and I've got to put the cable in there but I can't have the housing on it yet so not as easy as it seems and then it finally goes through All right, so that's in, and then I'll have, and then I'll put the cable through the housing. All right, so I've got it installed in the shifter, and when I was talking to Bob about this, he said the one thing you need to do is I could have this box pretty much anywhere, but to make sure that the cable housing, which is the black, not the cable itself, the cable housing, make sure that it was really tight between the two, between the shifter and the derailleur. The rest is pretty much automatic. It's I gotta download an app and then I gotta run the app and go from there. But if it's really that easy, then it might be kind of cool. Then I'll have to sync the shifter, the the uh, the buttons and stuff. But I think this might be kind of cool. So we'll see how it works out. Let me get this installed. And like I said, for my install, I'm going to leave the old cable in place. I'm just gonna move it out of the way. So I merely. I merely move it out of the way and I'll tie it up. That way, once I take this off and I go back to my old shifting system, this is all I have to do is hook this back up and it's no problem. So we'll see, you know, if, uh, now I'll just tie this up out of the way and I'll run the new cable and go from there. So thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.